This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 serving North Alabama and Northeast Mississippi. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey live in the studios this evening and we're excited about having Brother Marvin and Vernell Mar with us tonight. We got Dennis Thompson with us as well and of course we got all you folks out there watching us on TV 12 and TV 97. We got folks listening on radio locally down in North Alabama, North Mississippi. They're on 97.9 FM and AM 1430. And guess what? We are worldwide tonight on Facebook Live. That's right, Facebook Live. We'll have it on YouTube later for you. But we just want you to sit back and enjoy a great internet, uh, great night of entertainment here on WRMG. We're going to send it in the studios and let him kick the program off tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Brother Marvin Moore. <laughs> Nothing seems to make sense Many looking for the way They're running to and fro Sometimes this rope I'm holding Seems to be slipping But I'm gonna hold on tighter To the only hope I know I'm gonna hold on Hold on to Jesus Hold to and believing in the Jesus knots of time and I'm gonna hold on hold on to Jesus hold to the Lamb of Calvary hey I'm gonna hold on hold on to Jesus and Jesus will hold Jesus, we are here tonight again, and it's an honor to be here with Jack Ivey right here in Red Bay, Alabama tonight. We're so glad to have the opportunity to come, and we're glad that you joined us tonight. Wherever you are, however you are listening or watching us, we're so thankful. We want to send the, the program out tonight uh, to all of our friends on Facebook that have joined us here uh, on Jack Ivy Live tonight, what a what a blessing it is to be able just to come and once again uh, sing some songs and and testify of the love and the mercy and the grace of our Lord and Savior uh, Jesus Christ tonight. When I look back and I think of where He's brought me from and the kind of man that I that that I was, uh, I have to think about this song right here. I'm the man that put him on the cross. I am the man, Lord. I am the man that you bled and died for. I am the man. I'm the man in the garden. 
that brought the soldier band. I'm the man called Pilot that tried to wash his hands. I'm one of the mob lord that shouted in the street. I'm one of the soldiers that nailed him to the tree. You bled and died for I am the man I'm the man who wouldn't answer When you knocked on his door I'm the man you found drinking Down at the corner bar I'm the man who went to church But wouldn't give up sin The man who loudly Claimed I'm good as other men I'm one of the fishermen Down by the sea I'm the thief that cried unto you Lord, remember me. I am the blind man that you gave his sight. I am the dead man you brought back to life. I am the man, Lord. I am the man that you bled and died for. that Jesus died for on the cross and made a way whereby that I could have eternal life. I, we were talking just before we went on the air this evening about the time and how close we believe that we are uh, to going home to be with him. Folks, that ought to excite you tonight. He said for us to lift up our heads for our redemption draweth nigh. What a blessed it hope we have through the Lord Jesus Christ tonight the hope of eternal life the hope of, of a, a, a home eternal in heaven Jesus said I'm going away to prepare a mansion for you and if I go and prepare that mansion then I'll come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also I'll tell you I, I'm, I'm uh, thankful for that hope I'm thankful tonight that I'm not fearful of all the things. I'm not afraid. Uh, when God calls, I'm not afraid to go home to be with Him. On an old rugged cross, my Savior redeemed me. Paid my sin dead and wiped the slate clean. Took away all the fear that I had of dying. I'll not be afraid when it's my time to leave. I'll not be afraid when the death angel calls me. When the raging water of the river I see, I'll keep holding on to the promise he made. When I leave this old world, I'll not be afraid. Death, hell, and the grave 
was Liberty Field When on the third day Marvin Mar alive here with us tonight. Brother Marvin, we want to say hello to the folks out there watching down in Red Bay, Alabama, and over in Belmont and Iuka. They're actually watching on TV, uh, 97, uh, and also Channel 12. I want to say hello to Mr. Joel Harden. He's over in Georgia tonight. Uh, Frankie and Paulette Embry, they're out here on the Ridge Road. Uh, also, big shout-out tonight, Brother Scott Webster. we got old Andy Deaton down in Red Bay, Alabama. Mac and Evelyn Williams, big shout-out to them. Miss Kleine East Ledbetter with us out there tonight. And also a big shout out over in Boonville tonight to Mr. Jimmy Ivey and Lori over there tonight. So we got more we'll talk about in a minute, like old Gene Thorne down in Red Bay, Alabama. But it's an honor to have uh, you, and I think you may be uh, getting somebody else to come up there, we. And right. well, well, there she is right now. That's her. Folks, that's uh, the boss lady right there. That's uh, Miss <laughs> Verna Omar. And we, we told them on Facebook that uh, it was going to be uh, three of you here tonight. Okay. And that is the case. And also, but uh, they wouldn't just three. There's actually four because we got Judy with us tonight, That's too. Right. Well. That's we just, right. That's right. We, we just might. can't get her to sing. Well, Miss really, Jack, we got five. Jesus come right along with oh, us, Oh, yeah, too. right. That's awesome. <laughs> That's right. I want to say hello to Doris and Bill Lindsay out there tonight and also Randall Lindsay. And also Tracy Bragwell over in uh, Phil Campbell, Alabama tonight. We'll see you have to say hello to some more in a minute. Do me a favor if you're watching on Facebook like, right now or anything, make sure you call your neighbors, share this link. That would make us feel big time good tonight. Amen. Amen. And we're going to send it right back into the studios. And here they are, Brother Marvin and Vernell Morrow. Thank you, Jack. Thank you so much. Here's one of the old <laughs> Jubilee songs.
we began to sing singing in the holy ghost how the heavens will ring millions there will join the song with him we shall be praising christ through ages long heaven's jubilee oh what a singing oh what a shouting on that happy morning when we all shall songs heaven's jubilee oh, what a blessing vernell yes it's a good day isn't it amen i know you're glad to be down oh, in red yes. bay once again i'm glad to be we in missed it. coming down here didn't we? that's right that's right we missed going out to the churches we've had so many things canceled uh this year so many services that have been canceled and and uh, i tell you Folks, I, I, I wish uh, you would start calling us and getting us back because Vernell's about to work me to death. Uh, we, <laughs> we've done, we've oh done everything man. that you can imagine. Pick blackberries. We've been picking blackberries and blueberries, and she's been making jellies and, and, and all of that stuff and canning pickles. I'm pickles. telling you. We've uh, been doing it all. Uh, we were we were in the garden yesterday and she she had her basket out there and picking squash and cucumbers and okra and uh and she said I, I, my basket is running over and i said you know god said he would open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we couldn't even contain that's right he does fill it. that basket and run it over he does it? it all the time amen that's right vernon what do you want to sing uh I know you. Uh, I know you are eager to get get going here. Uh, just to the Savior's arms. We haven't done that. All righty. Okay. We'll sure do that. That's a good place to be, right in the Savior's arms. Those nail-scarred hands that 
touch me He turned my world around My eyes are fixed on heaven My soul is glory bound In my loving Savior's arms He's where y'all sounding good tonight i want to say uh we appreciate all the folks watching us tonight on tv 12 and tv 97 i want to say a special hello to they should be on the front row tonight they're not but i guarantee they're on the front row at home tonight walter and Lou Reed epps and uh, honored to always have them out there watching tonight and uh, we really miss them not being in person here tonight and uh i tell you what you know who else sat up there on that front row she's going on to be with the lord and That's uh right. Y'all know who that was, don't you? Very faithful. Very faithful. Boy, I tell you what, she wanted to know if y'all was coming or not, would She wanted to know if you was going to be here oh, or not. Oh, yes, sir. She'd Everything. track y'all down and stuff. That's right. That's she right. would. And um, But we miss all these folks that watch us uh, and have watched us in the past. I want to say hello tonight to Rayburn Massey and his family tonight, Doug and Sylvia Lyles. Uh, Woody and Jane Edwards down in Red Bay, Alabama. Miss Faye Wells, she's over in Ripley, Mississippi tonight. A right, uh, big you. shout out to Mr. Philip McGee down around the New Albany area tonight. Mike and Wanda Schubert down in Red Bay. Uh, also, Ronnie and Sue Hellams out there tonight. And also, Glenn and Twyla Graham and Johnny and Hilda Roberts all checking us out tonight right here on WRMG. Let's see here. Uh, one other thing. Uh, I had some, somebody else. Miss Joyce Jones over in Iuka. I want to say hello to Miss Joyce tonight. Y'all yes. sounded extra good. Uh, Thank you. Does did, did Dennis not, does he realize he's not really on the program tonight? We just set him up to let him do a sound check. We just uh, let him chauffeur. Chauffeur? Yeah, he's chauffeur. That's all you did was chauffeur. Yeah. Are they going to feed you for chauffeur? I don't know. <laughs> Are y'all going to feed him for chauffeur? Yeah, we're going to take him I, by Crystal. Oh, okay. Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. You just well to carry me to the house and get me a tomato sandwich. <laughs> That's what I told Marvin the other night. I'd rather have a tomato sandwich and go to Christmas. He stopped in there and got me one of those last weekend on the way home. We'd worked till uh, it was almost midnight, and he stopped and got me one of them. And I said, Marvin, don't ever buy me another crystal sandwich. Don't do me a favor, Don't right? ever do that again. <laughs> don't hey, ever. you know what? I've been eating uh, last week and this week a bunch, don't you? Tomato sandwiches. I love them. I love them. I've been getting some really, really good tomatoes. That's great. My sister and brother-in-law. And guess who gave me uh, a few tomatoes the other night and maybe a couple of cucumbers and a couple of bell peppers? Jake and Peggy Adams with the Sparks family. Well, that's all right. Man, you're talking about You gooder. better hang in there with them. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, I put mayonnaise on that tomato sandwich. <laughs> Always. A little, little salt. Yes. So it's good. So. If you like tomato sandwiches, uh, let us know if you do. Comment us on that Facebook there. <laughs> I guarantee a lot of them do, right? Right. Yes. Y'all sounded good. Keep if up the good the work. you're from the South, you love it. Oh, no doubt. All right. We want to also send the program tonight up to Indiana to Ron. Bale. Bale. And Miss Anna Ruth. And Miss Anna Ruth. That's yep. right. I, I was going to let you say and I was Ms. gonna say Ron and let you say Ms. Anna, Anna Ruth. Ruth. I got it. That's I? right. You sure <laughs> did. And we've got to do them a song here in a minute, haven't That's we? That's right. That's right. We sure have. Uh, all right, Jack. We're gonna do a, a duo here. Uh, switch. There you go. Hey Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been plumb out of the picture. Here. Well, she paid for airtime. She paid for extra airtime.
Like the ancient Roman Empire, this world is doomed to fall. It's much too big a thing for mortal man. Take a look around and see the writing on the wall. Somehow we got to find. This world has never been in the awful shape it's in. And people scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus. true song that is a true song tonight uh is that right there brother larry blackburn over in the heart of the shows over in sheffield alabama enjoying the program tonight Thank so you. uh also uh mr gary Pooh, uh gary a veteran 67 years of age uh, of course uh gary had family around here and stuff he came down with the cancer i don't know a few months ago passed away yesterday and uh, i want us to remember the gary Pooh family yes and uh we got uh, another one coming in right here. Let's say hello to, oh, there's Gene uh, checking back in with us. Thank you, Gene. Mr. Gene and Thorne. The world famous Gene, Gene Thorne. Thorne. Uh, let's see. We did say hello, hello to Gene. I want to say hello to Rick and Lynn Gaddis down in Tishomingo tonight. Uh, Myra Coates. That's Brother Bob Massey's daughter. And uh, we sure do miss Brother Bob. He, you know, passed on the last year. And uh, also want to say hello to... Uh, uh, Kelly and uh, Sally Moore out here tonight, Jack and Brenda Elliott, and also Mr. T.H. Boyd, uh, Tina and Adam Hester checking in, and also Chuck Clark over in Iuka, Mississippi. We'll check some more and see who else is watching and some of their comments and here in just a second. So uh, we uh, – I had something else I was going to tell you. You do realize that Vernell paid for extra airtime. During that last segment, me and her was talking about tomato sandwiches. That was just a conversation between me and her during that time. And she said, Jack, leave the camera on me. And I did. So. All right. That's great. That's all right. <laughs> but. Um, that's that's yeah, better. I thought it might be better not to get you on there because she's already mad at you for getting her a crystal burger. And I, <laughs> I done got you into that one, right? I bet you won't get her another crystal burger, will you? No, I won't be getting no more crystals. I guarantee I it. I sure won't. I'm a joke. She probably would take maybe something from Outback or Texas right. Roadhouse or somewhere. Right. Would that would that make up for it, Vernell? Oh yeah. That, you heard that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. 
We got more calls coming in. We'll send it back to Brother Marvin and Vernell Marr live with us on WRMG. Thank you, Jack. And I, I want to just uh, uh, take just a second and thank uh, Gene Thorne for all the encouragement that he's been to us on our Facebook Live program. He has uh, has sent us little notes and just encouraged us. And not only him, but people from all over the country has Amen. has uh, has texted us and and said kind words and and put up with us while we've been <laughs> doing all the all the shenanigans and all the things that's been going on. But I promise you, folks, we're working really really hard We're gonna i'm going to work the rest of this week at that studio to try to get everything just exactly like it's supposed to be and pray that it that it that it all works out just right uh so you just keep on praying for us and keep on tuning us in and uh, i hope jack don't mind me mentioning that here on on his program because on his station because he's the one that really got us into this and has how. helped us so much <laughs> and we appreciate Jack Ivey, he's a, he's a precious friend, and we appreciate him so much tonight. Here's a little song for Neil. Savior calling. We're going to hear him. We want to say a special hello to Walter and Lou Ree tonight. We appreciate them watching and we miss them That's being right. out here in That's the audience. Right. We they do. were always right here cheering us on and we uh, we appreciate them uh, uh, so very, very much. Uh, uh, Vernell, I'm going to jump over here and do uh, a song that I don't do just a whole lot anymore, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do Fallen Leaves for in every of. in memory of Miss I'm 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 as, I'm as blank I'm as blank as name? anybody could be. That's right. <laughs> well, I can't help it. Oh, how bad we are. Oh, we're we're terrible. This is in memory. Oh my. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to tell you, Miss Lee Palmer. That's right. Lee Palmer, this is in memory of her. Fallen leaves that lie scattered on the ground. Birch and flowers that were here cannot be found. All the friends she ever had are not around. They are scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Lord, let my eyes see every need of every man. Make me stop and always lend a helping hand. Then when I'm laid beneath the little grassy man, there'll be more friends around than leaves upon the ground. Dennis Thompson can, is getting ready in the side wings over here, and we're going to do one more song while we're waiting uh, on him to, uh, to get up here. And, uh, Vernell, you want to you wanna go ahead and make this dedication uh, tonight? Uh, yeah, this is uh, a song that Brother Ron called me earlier today, and he asked that we sing this song tonight, Marvin. And... Uh, this is one we put on my first album that I ever That's recorded. Right. That's right. And uh, Miss Anna Ruth, she just really loves this song. So we want to dedicate this song uh, called From the Battle. I love this to song too. Brother Ron and Miss Anna Ruth Bell up in Corona, uh, Indiana. Indiana. That's right. <coughs>
you will hear the Savior say. When, when the Lord calls us home and what a, what a, what a time we're going to have, what a place it's going to be. When we're called out of, the, out of this walk of life down here, called from the battle that we're fighting and facing, all the things we're having to face uh, today, and we're able yes, to Lord. just sit down, <clears throat> sit down by that cool and stream of water that proceeds out of the throne of God. Sit down at the marriage supper of the Lamb because, Thank you, Jesus. because Jesus went to the cross, <clears throat> died <clears throat> on the cross, one of the cruelest deaths a man could die, and he did it for me. Oh, how, how it humbles me tonight that, to know that he did <clears throat> that, that I might have eternal life. Have an invitation to come and sit <clears throat> down there in that place. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Brother Marvin, I told you uh, before we came on tonight, today my dad would have been my dad's birthday, and of course tomorrow would be my mom's birthday, and of course daddy was born in 1917, would be 103 today, 103. Yeah, so right. I want to dedicate this program tonight in memory of my dad tonight, and of course my mom uh, tomorrow night, you know what's pretty neat. I don't know. Of course, I don't know if people look at this different. I think things are kind of meant to be. Is July thirteenth, my little granddaughter's birthday. Well, her other grandmother's the fourteenth. My daddy's is the fifteenth. My mom's the sixteenth. My first cousin's the seventeenth, and Denise's grandmother on her daddy's side is the eighteenth. So that's all lined good. up. All isn't lined it? up. So that's, that's a, I believe that's all right. I want to say hello to um, Patsy Hammock out there tonight, and uh, Patsy, thank you so much. You and your uh, family and also um, I want to say hello to Jimmy Ivy. you know Uncle Chester and Maxine that watched us for many many years uh, this is their son Jimmy Jimmy lives over in Boonville now he's been over here on some of them Wednesday night gatherings and I think got in on some of that food and he said he's not coming back till we got food so <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out a Wednesday night and uh, maybe we can talk Ralph and Cheryl to come down there because they bring some pretty good vittles and of course you know what uh, Brother Marshall and Miss Colleen can cook up. My goodness. That's we, right. We could have a uh, feast. You know, I remember the old good days, Brother Carney Grimes and all them. Man, we'd have so much right. food over to other place. We'd go off the show and hey, we, you know, these long coolers that's about 10 foot long? They'd pull out a cooler full of food. They'd like <laughs> we was going to a decoration. I, I could come by Crystal and get a sack of burgers. Uh, We'll save that for <laughs> your wife there. <everybody. laughs> hey, also, uh, Betty Shadburn Harrison out there tonight, and also David uh, uh, Edward McAllister, and, uh, of course, uh, Lorenda and their family tonight. Gail Gann is out there with us tonight. Andy Deaton down in Red Bay, Alabama, with us tonight. All these folks are enjoying the pro. And uh, Walter called in just a minute ago, and he said he misses coming out. Walter, I'll make you a deal. Brother Marvin said he'd bring you a crystal burger if you'd come next time they come. <laughs> a crystal burger. Better let me know ahead. Hey, he'd probably rather have something other than a burger, you know, for them to go to come. Are you ready to inter introduce this next guy? I am. I sure am. I and know he's dying. We're delighted to have him with us again tonight. I'm, I'm glad he drove his vehicle. He got good air. My, my air is not working real good. And 
I told him, I said, Dennis, you better drive yours. It's hot. To say <laughs> How long has he been saying that, Dennis, about that air? I don't know. <laughs> he uses that excuse every time or what? Uh, <laughs> no. No, hey, his no, he knows better than that. Hey, huh? his gets better gas mileage. That's too. a new one. That's a new one. That's a new one there. I, I understand. You know, I mean, I I haven't never done that before. I understand. Uh, no, but y'all sounding have. mighty, mighty good tonight, and I'm mean, looking forward to old Dennis uh, singing. Thank you. Make welcome my neighbor and my precious friend, Dennis Thompson. All right, All Dennis. right. Take thank away, you, Mark. <laughs> Let's all go down to the river There's a man walking on the water Come along with me For I want to see this man walking on the water He can raise the dead Good to be back down here in the studio tonight. We really miss being down here, and uh, like I said, it's good to be here again. Hope y'all going to enjoy the program. I know you've enjoyed Vernell and Marvin so far, and uh, like I said, we're going to try to do a few songs here for you. Uh, Jack, could you give me a little more monitor, buddy? I just barely can hear it. All right. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. This year the boll weevil, he lived in my cotton, big river flooded out my corn in the bottom. Talk about a man, trouble I got him, but you've been mighty good to me. Won't you been mighty good? My barn burnt down, it was nearly new. A rat must have known the wires and two. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not fussing with you. Boy, you've been mighty good to me. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. You let me keep my family. To me, you never have been rude. You keep my table filled with food. And I thank you every night and day. But I don't need if I should say, Lord, you've been mighty good to me. Oh, you've been my 
mighty good to me. Lord, you've been mighty good. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. You let me keep my family. To me, you never have been rude. You keep a table filled with food. And I thank you every night and day. But I don't enough I should say. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. Let me keep my family To me you never have been rude You keep a table filled with food And I thank you every night and day But I don't enough I should say Oh, you've been mighty good to me I said, Lord, you've been mighty good Thank you, Jack. I was struggling. Anyways, uh, we, we're probably going to be a little bit rusted now. We haven't done anything in a long time. So uh, anyway, y'all bear with us. All right. Two thousand years ago, God sent his son to earth below knowing that to a rugged cross he would have to go for there was no other way to bring the lost world in. so Jesus came as a lamb and died for their sin why Still a mystery to me To die the cruel did he die That sinners could go free That only his broad blood Could wash away man's sin I still don't understand it But I'm sure glad he did God's love and mercy Refusing to believe that It would work on me One day I stopped to listen And heard the words he said I don't know how it happened But I'm sure glad it did Still a mystery to me To die the cruel did he die That sinners could go free That only his royal blood Could wash away man's sin I still don't understand it But I'm sure glad he did I still don't I'm sure glad he did. Well, Dennis Thompson back live with us tonight. And, uh, Dennis, uh, those uh, technical things you know, that I throw in, those are a little extra for some folks, but not for Dennis Thompson. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I feel good. And, uh, I don't know where I'm singing good or not, but I feel good. Well, you are. You, we, uh, I, I think I helped it by coming out there and uh, giving you a little more volume. Oh, I? you did, man. I was struggling. Well, uh, Brother Marvin had cut you down in here a little bit, and I said, I don't think he can hear that. And uh, 
<laughs> so I went out there and did it on that end or something like that. But oh, first man. thing he does, he come in and turns you down so you yeah. couldn't hear yourself. I didn't know what happened. No, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, we just uh, – I'm, I'm afraid that you and Marvin and uh, all of you talking about uh, Crystal, uh, y'all going to get some dirty letters from them. No, you know? we love Crystal. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> we love Crystal, don't we? <laughs> we love Crystal. The only thing yeah. I do, I burp them. I love them, but I burp them after I eat them. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we, well, let me ask you this. Lee Palmer – who we went blank for a while ago. She'd be really ill at us for forgetting her, but was she not dedicated to listener to Dennis Thompson? Oh, my. Marvin and Vernell and stuff? She wanted to always and hear that uh, song, uh, I Love You. Uh, I think the name is something about I yeah. Love You. You going to do that in her memory tonight? Uh, Well. You might. I might do it. What about uh, Walter and Lou Reed? You know, they got a front row seat out there, too, anytime oh, they want. Oh, my. Gene Thorne. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got some folks out there that's uh, not with us anymore. You know, Miss Barbara uh, yeah. that used to come down, her and Miss Klein East. Now, of course, Miss Barbara passed away. And uh, these folks really, really enjoyed this gospel music. And I, I, I don't know where the right word is. They live for it. But they just loved it. And uh, I do, too. And it's an honor to have all you folks out there watching tonight. Dennis, I'm going to let you sing another song or two. Then I'm going to have you uh, a list of some more people. I want to say hello to Andy Deaton out there tonight. Andy? We appreciate you. Andy's very loyal watching us no matter what we got on. And uh, I want to dedicate the whole program to him and his wife tonight. So, Dennis, you're, right. you're back on stage. Well, all right. We and uh, Marvin, we talk a whole lot. We got this hour and a half drive down here, you know. And we was talking about choices. And he said, won't you sing that song, Choices, and that? Because, uh, you know, we do have a lot of choices to make. And uh, we have a choice about how we live our life. And we have a choice we want to go back to church and uh, – and we have different choices. So y'all listen to this song here. I'm going to send it out to Walter and Lou Reed. I know they're watching tonight, so we love y'all. And uh, we got some more out there, too, we love. So we'll, we'll get this. I've had choices. Since the day that I was born, there were voices that told me right from wrong. If I had listened, no, I wouldn't be here today, living and dying with the choices I've made. I was By an early age I found I like green Oh, I never turned it down There were love But I turned them all away And I'm living and dying With the choices I've made I've had choices the day that I was born, there were voices that told me right from wrong. If I had listened, no, I wouldn't be here today, living and dying with the choices I've made. Yes, I'm paid for the things that I have done. If I could go back, Lord knows I'd run, but I'm still losing this game of life I play. Losing and dying with the choice. told me right from wrong if I had listened no I wouldn't be here today living and dying with the choices I've made
remember that you got a choice on a lot of things out there. Amen. I'm going to do a Marvin Marl song right here. Brother Marvin wrote this song, and this is one of his favorite, A Peaceful Valley. <laughs> I have walked through barren deserts, climbed rocky hills and mountainsides. I've been tempted, tried and tested, but I've found a place to hide. It is in peaceful valley where I lay my burdens down where I find strength and comfort and the peace of God is found This old world comes against me and it takes away my smile. I remember and go back there, there I rest a little while. It is in Where I lay my burdens down, where I find strength and comfort, and the peace of God is found. It is in a peaceful valley where the peace. Where I find strength and comfort And the peace of God is found It is in a peaceful valley Where the peace of God is found Where the peace of God is found World famous, Dennis Thompson. Dennis, I want to say hello to Miss Mary Collins after tonight and also James Gasway and his family with us tonight. And uh, we've got uh, folks, of course, watching us from everywhere tonight. And let's see who else. Uh, over in Iuka tonight, we got Joe Biden. I mean, <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> I get it mixed up sometimes. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Was that not the right? Okay, Michael Hutchison's out there with us tonight. Thank you, Michael. And uh, I want to say hello to Brother Steve and Angie Kenner tonight. Eddie Moody uh, out there with us. Glenn and Twyla Graham. Uh, also, Mr. Jimmy uh, Dunn Whitfield with us tonight. Also, big shout out to um, a uh, Terry and Shelley Stanley. They're down in Belmont, Mississippi tonight. And also, a good shout out tonight to Nathaniel Gabler, uh, Lana Dawson Harrison over in Boonville tonight. Also, Dakota Riley out there with us tonight. Uh, big shout out to Dee Dee Harden and Terry down in Red Bay, Debbie Collier Jackson. Jill Sneed with us tonight, along with uh, uh, Brady Petrie with us out there tonight. So we got a lot of folks watching. Uh, Donna Gino over in Jumpertown, Mississippi tonight. Uh, also, want to say hello to Cunny Funderburk and her family. Joe Tesner with us tonight. Uh, also, Frida Nichols Hale and Frankie and Paulette Embry with us tonight as well. And also big shout out to Kylie James, uh, uh, Kelly Rasco, Tina Robson out there tonight, Betty Wildman down in Red Bay. And also I want to say a big shout out tonight to Miss Christine Graham down in Red Bay, Alabama, all watching on uh, Facebook Live or either watching on TV as well. So uh, any of that virus up in your, your neck of the woods, Dennis? 
A little bit, yeah. It's coming around a little bit. Uh, we've had more cases lately than uh, we had before, you know. We've had some requests for Brother Marvin to sing with a mask on when he comes <laughs> back. I don't know where that's going to well, work. Well, we right. have one back there. Uh, I've got an old Miss mask he can wear. Yeah. Uh, he ain't yeah. even, he's not paying us no attention, is he? <laughs> no, not much. Not no. much. Hey, you sounding good, though, Dennis. So well, honored to have you all back tonight. Good to be here, Jack, and we always enjoy coming down here. And uh, like I said, good to be back down here uh, trying to serve God on this program, you know. And uh, like I said, uh, we uh, we know a lot of things going on, and we, uh, we're praying hard for this nation to get back to normal. Uh, we don't know when it's going to be, but we're... We know it's going to maybe some of these days, and uh, y'all just keep hanging in there. I'm going to do an old, old song here called Beautiful Land. I, a lot of people still like this old, uh, old songs like this, and I do too. <laughs> enjoyed that one tonight. I'm going to send out to old Gene there. Uh, oh, you talking about old Gene Thorne? Yeah, Gene's a watch it, I'm sure. Well, I got a problem here. I need to talk to the boss here with us. Uh, how safe a driver is Dennis coming down that Natchez Trace? <laughs> you know, he, he's done, done really good, except one time he passed 
something. I don't even know what it was. It, it was a vehicle that had a trailer on it, and, and it was covered up in stuff. There was buckets hanging off of it and old car tags tacked to it. I, I, I don't even know what kind of vehicle it was. And it was some kind of trailer, and he passed it going down a hill, and uh, uh, I, I, that that's the only thing he did. Well, uh, hey, something else happened, Marvin. Oh, I, yeah, uh, there's a rock <laughs> busted his windshield. <laughs> no, right before that. Yeah. I, that's reading his passion. It, he thought that thing slung a rock and busted his windshield. So you uh, got upset. Broke the law by passing, probably on double yellow line too, right? No, no, oh. he didn't. No, he didn't do that. No, he had a passing zone. He had a passing zone. Oh, I was just making sure everything was legal here. <laughs> oh yeah, everything's good. Yeah. He, oh, Dennis is a good driver. Yeah, he drives slower than me. Hey, uh, Jack, when I'm driving, I got three other drivers in there with me. What about Judy? Is she a, is oh, she she's can, a good driver on the right side. Oh, man. She, I bet watch she, it. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better be glad she can't hear you right now. You better get back to singing <laughs> right quick. I'm going to sing a couple more, Marvin. Y'all, I thought she was going to come up here a while ago when you was up here. Um, come on up here, and uh, we might do one song together, okay? Come right. on up. <laughs> I was lost, but Jesus saved me, gave his life on Calvary's tree. Though I failed him, but he still loved me. Through his grace, I've been set free. I know I don't deserve a mansion, cause I was born. Famous Dennis Thompson. Now, Dennis, you mentioned two, then you changed it to one. Uh, so I don't know how many y'all doing one or two. Uh, well, we just need to. I uh, really, I need this to go, get on off and let Marvin them have it. But no, uh, he don't want to. He wants you to sing. <laughs> All right, brother Marvin, uh, we'll do one he wrote here. I don't know. I may put him on the spot, but uh, you can't hardly put Marvin on the spot. He's so good. Uh, this guy's. He's a real deal. Uh, gonna leave this world shouting. You remember how you wrote that song in the? You still remember the tune to it? Yeah. All right. I remember the tune. I don't remember the words. Well, well. 
Uh, you'll find them. I think we'll, we'll, we'll find get them, them somewhere. We'll, we'll find them somewhere. Marvin, so you've been working a lot. I have. I have. Uh, I've me been, too. I've been I've been working a lot. We we've not been on the road, so yeah. been working. You know, on yeah. the farm and and oh, yeah. in in my shop. I've been. You know, doing some stuff in my wooden workshop. Oh, man, and, he, uh, he makes uh, some great stuff, furniture. Uh, I, uh, I, I enjoy doing that. And we've uh, uh, made a little garden, had a little yeah. garden out there, you know, and just got, uh, had a lot of rain this year oh, and had man. a lot of grass to mow. And so it's just been, So yeah. you'd have to say, Lord's just, been mighty good to you. The Lord's it? been mighty good to me, <laughs> oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. I ain't got no watermelon, Jack. <laughs> I wish I did. You know what I, I told Vernell the other day? I went yesterday and bought me a watermelon, and I got home, and she said, we're going to cut that thing right now because we had bought one about two weeks ago and brought it home and waited two or three days before we cut it, and she cut it, and that thing just blowed up. <laughs> I mean, it, it was bad. You waited too long, didn't waited you? Waited too long, and, yep. I, and I said, oh, I'm going to get this one. Well, I got home, she cut it, and it was a yellow meaty. <laughs> I don't really like yellow meated watermelons well, that much. Do you? They're well, all right. Yeah, but, Judy, she does, so we get but, one. Uh, but uh, but but uh, I, I thought I was getting red, but but I got a yellow. So, but uh, but that's all right. That's all okay. Right. But uh, yeah, we. It's been a good summer. It's been a good summer, even though we've had you know deals had to deal with all this uh, oh, yeah. COVID stuff. But, uh, well, it's, it's pretty much shut the gospel music down. It, it has shut. It's yeah. shut down the uh, concerts, yeah. yeah it's, everybody. It's, I, everybody you talk to, it, uh, yeah, there's it's, not many going, many things happening now. Churches, uh, so many churches are, are really having trouble because of, uh, of, of people staying home, and, and some of them, you know, have, have reasons to. Right. Uh, we exactly. know of some churches. Me and you both know of some right, churches exactly, yeah. where people actually got the the virus there um, at the church from I'm someone sure, at yeah. the church. Yeah. Okay, Marvin. We'll All right. Do, we'll let's do, do it. How great thou art. That's fine. That's fine. That's easy. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds the hands have made I see the star I hear the roll thunder by
tell you what, that was an awesome job. Folks, Dennis Thompson on the left. Raise your hand, Dennis. <laughs> and Marvin Mara. Yeah. Right there. Marvin, raise your hand. Y'all just don't know how good y'all sounded on that song. Well, Marvin, really? he sings a better on my track than he does on his. You know how much better he was sounding? Well, he was uh, enjoying it. Uh, you know, uh, I know Jimmy and Lori over in uh, Boonville, uh, Jimmy, Ivy, and Lori over there. You know what they got me for Christmas? I better probably shouldn't say this. Lori is one of the big shots over at Marathon Cheese Company, and they bought, brought me the biggest uh, batch of cheese you've ever seen in your life. I'm talking about a box. I'm talking about a, a it had tons of cheese in it, had some of that sausage in there with it. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I ate a lot of cheese. And Jimmy, I don't know where you got it. It doesn't have to be that big, but I need some sharp cheddar cheese uh, in the worst way. And uh, Lori, are you listening? I need some sharp cheddar cheese, extra sharp, just sharp. <laughs> uh, that's a hint, but uh, I love my cousins over there. And uh, we appreciate them very, very much. And so uh, Jimmy made the delivery, but I know Miss Laurie was responsible for getting it. So, But I just uh, wanted to say thanks to them again for not forgetting me at Christmas time. By the way, I've got, I don't know what this month is, but I've got some kind of special occasion coming up that probably cheese would probably make me feel good. <laughs> Wouldn't you think? Marvin, I'll tell you what to do. I'm what? Do one, let's do one more together, and you and Vernon will take it on out. Then, then, then you do one more, and then we'll take it on huh? out. We, oh. we gonna do, we'll do one together, and then you do one more, and we'll take it on out. All right. How about that? Don't leave this world shouting, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna leave this world shouting when I go. This world a shout when I go. Won't be grieving for this world when I go. When I go. Won't be grieving for this world when, when I, I go. go. I fixed it up with Jesus a long, long time ago. Gonna leave this world a shout when I go. Gonna leave this world a shout when I go. Gonna leave this world a shout. When I go, won't be afraid to flow when I go. It's all Jesus, all the things below. Won't be afraid of flying when I go. Leave this world is shout when I go. Gonna leave this world. To my brand new home Don't want nobody crying when I go Gonna leave this world a shout when I go Gonna leave this world a shout when I go I fixed it up with Jesus a long, long time ago Gonna leave this world a shout when I go Gonna leave this world a shout You? I sure do. I do. I'm going to leave this world of shouting one day. <laughs> I sure am. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, bless Thank you. you. I'm sorry I messed you up no, on that. All didn't. the way through. I sung through the break <laughs> and everything. There ain't no telling what Jack Ivey's got up his We sleep. had a good time. We thought you was trying to push Brother Marvin out of the shot. He right was. There. He was, he was wasn't Brother he? Brother Marvin got right back uh, over here, and you wouldn't let him have <laughs> Listen, I just got a message from Jimmy. I guess you need some cheese. She's listening. So, uh, Lori, uh, 
I had to get on stage just to say thank you and don't forget me and we uh, we love you over in Belmont and Red oh, Bay. Yeah. Uh, would you say hi to Jimmy and Lori? Hi Jimmy and Lori. I know. Hi Jimmy and Lori. Yeah. Oh y'all want some cheese? Too. We want <laughs> cheese too. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> well, well that's right. It's gonna do one more. All right. And then me and Vernell's gonna come back and uh, we'll finish it out. Tonight. All right. Here we go. Way down in the valley, I see an ocean. No fire burns inside it, no smoke from the stack. The fuel's all laid. The barn is falling in Like my life it was hopeless Till Jesus moved in I was a broken down vessel Just a shell In the palm of his hand Now I'm a new vessel Not scarred by sin Now my house is not empty Since Jesus moved in There's a fire burning spirit where coldness had been. The fields are now tended. They're living again. My house is not empty. Since Jesus moved in, my house is not empty. Since Jesus moved in, since Jesus moved in. I hope your house is not empty out there tonight, folks. God bless you. Dennis, wonderful, wonderful job. Honored to have you here tonight. And, uh, Thank you, Jack. Let's see. Uh, I know Patsy uh, Hammock and her husband family out there. Uh, of course, Jimmy and them's laughing over there saying how much they're enjoying the show. We got a few amens out of Patsy and them, the Hammock family and stuff. But, uh, Jim, uh, Jimmy, thank you so much. Uh, we miss Uncle Chester. You know what I miss about Uncle Chester, uh, Brother Marvin? What's that? Uh, Uncle Chester took care of me on tomatoes. I could just pull up out there, Dennis, and guess what? They might be some tomatoes just hanging on my door. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, since Uncle Chester passed away, I hadn't seen a tomato. You hadn't seen any tomatoes? No, these kids are supposed to carry on the tradition, right? That's right. Well, Randy, his grandson, you know, moved into the house down there, and I think Randy tried some that first year and maybe did bring me three or four, but I don't know where he'd give up trying to raise tomatoes. Well, you know, some of these people had a green thumb when it comes to gardens, right? Uncle Chester definitely had that. So, all right, we've got um, 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Let's dedicate the program tonight to Brother Marshall and Colleen Green. Yes, yes. Love We're them. looking forward to seeing Brother Marshall. All right, here we go. All righty. Thank you, Dennis. You've done a good job. I appreciate it. Miss Burnell's back. We're just going to jump right in here with a little song called Fear Not. I'll do the 
same for you. Fear not, my child, or I will see it through. There's nothing in this world too hard for me to do. I delivered old Daniel from the lions, he and raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm just the same, I never change all the words Jesus said. took care of Noah when he told him to build the ark. He helped little David slay the giant who set his people free. And when my soul gets burdened, I hear him say to me, Fear not, my child, for I will see you through. There's nothing in this world too hard for me to do. I delivered on that day went through the fiery furnace with the Hebrew three and when I get in trouble I hear him say to me Fear not my child for I will see you through there's nothing in this world too hard for me to do I delivered old Daniel from the lunch and raised the Lazarus from the dead I'm just the same, I never change all the words Jesus said. I delivered old Daniel from the lion's den, raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm just the same, I never change all the words Jesus said. thankful to be have the opportunity to be here with you tonight and you that have joined us we thank you so so very much and I pray that we've said a sung a song said a word or, or something that would just be a blessing to you Vernell do a little uh, a song here that you did another song that you did on your very first album that you did and and this is a song that really I kindly uh, started singing harmony with you on That's right. uh, i didn't do it on the record but i've been doing it ever since we've been doing this song uh singing a little harmony with you on this song this is one of my favorites that she does called no longer an orphan <laughs> Now I'm no longer an 
And Miss Vernell, I want to say a special hello tonight to Miss Karen Allen. Miss Karen uh, was kind of away for a little while. She's back, back on cable. She's back in the area, and, and she's been watching us a while since she got back. And she really, really receives a blessing from these shows. And we want to dedicate the whole program. She asked to, uh, for your prayers tonight. So, Karen, honored to have you on tonight watching Thank us. You. And uh, boy, it's good to hear from folks, isn't it? It is. You know what? Always, uh, always. Dennis and I was talking about how good y'all were doing tonight, and uh, are you are you gonna be on the next show? I don't know. Uh, if they need a, if they need a show for if you need a chauffeur, he said he'd like to be on the next show with y'all. <laughs> okay, it's, you know this is really this this is one of those deals where we let our bus drivers sing. Oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I heard somebody. No, I'm I saw Roger Johnson's other night, the other night, and he said his bus bus driver is uh, what's the word? Is also the bass player tonight. So yeah, yeah, solid. Yeah. That yeah. may be the Ewan man. What was his name? Bobby. Bobby. And, uh, yeah. So he's uh, they just they use him as a bus driver, but they was letting him play the bass that night and stuff. Yeah. So he's a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, but. <laughs> I was just telling Dennis how great he did tonight. He did I awesome. He did a good job. I thought he did, too. And y'all sounded good. I'm on a hush. We've got about uh, <clears throat> ten more minutes. Yeah, about ten more minutes. We gotta, we'll, that'll give us time to get off and get ready for Brother Marshall. Marshall Green. All right, take it away. You're speaking about Roger Johnson. Here's a song that Brother Roger wrote and allowed me to record several years ago. And I've sung it till just about wore it out. But we love this song. Or what it says. That old story don't ever get old. It's still the greatest story ever told It still runs chills down my spine That a man would give his life For a sinner such as I
of a sinner such as I for such as I a king would die just a broken heart Still knows the story well of the precious blood that fell for a sinner such as I. I still know the story well of the precious blood that fell. That's all. That's a good song. Brother Marvin and Vernell. Brother Marvin, raise your hand so they'll not get them mixed up because y'all are backwards the way I say it. Okay. It's Vernell and Marvin, the way you're looking at it on your TV. <laughs> right? So I didn't want them to get it mixed up. Get it all mixed up. What was that? Uh, sisters is on Green Acres. Uh, what's that now? Those brother and sister was on Green Acres. You know, they were the carpenters around. They couldn't build too much. but uh, Y'all remember Green Acres? Yeah, I remember yeah. the show, but I don't remember who you're talking about. You just go watch Green Acres. If they call in some carpenters over, I forgot their name. They're brothers and sisters, and uh, oh. you don't want them to build you a new closet, I can assure <laughs> you that. Uh, oh, is that right? I understand uh, this is a pretty talented crew building up there. Miss Vernell showed me some of the things y'all been building. Those are pretty awesome. Well, we, uh, we're trying. In for We're you praying to get, I know what it is. You're praying to get out of that place right there and get back on the road. She's about to work you to death. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. We, we, uh, but we've, we've had a good summer. We, we was talking about it with Dennis. Uh, it's been a, been a really good summer. Uh, uh That's we, awesome. We, we are thankful for ever, ever blessing the Lord has sent us, even though there's been some trying things going on in, in the world today and, all of that, but you know, uh, uh, I, I believe we make life, we just make it what we want it to be ourselves. With the Lord's help, we, we're able to, to uh, uh, just find ourselves as, as the Apostle Paul. Uh, in whatever situation we find ourselves, then we just need to be content. Right. Amen. Can and I that, say hello to Chloe Turner out there with us tonight? Thank you, yes. Chloe. Brandon Grisham and his family over in Iuka, Mississippi. And, all right, take it away. All right. All righty. We're going to finish up with this one right here. We're going to two more. All right, we've got time for two more. All right, Jack, we'll do this, and then we'll do one more. Just a home in glory land's gonna suit me fine. I don't need a fancy car to drive there. Just a set of wings to soar the eastern sky. Some people work so hard for material things. Things down here. They just don't satisfy But I'm laying up my treasures In heaven above I found peace Money just can't buy I don't need a mansion on the hilltop Just a home in glory land So it suit me fine I don't need a fancy car to drive there Just a set of wings to soar the eastern sky That's why 
what it's all about. There'll be a lot of praising for those who make it through to the pearly gates in the skies of blue. I don't need a mansion on a hilltop Just a home in glory land's gonna suit me fine I don't need a fancy car to drive down Just a set of wings to soar the eastern sky Home in glory land's gonna suit me fine I don't need a fancy car to drive there Just a set of wings to soar the eastern sky Just a set of wings to soar the eastern sky Hey, uh, I've got, I've got, you need to grade them. How good have we done tonight, brother? Oh, Marvin? it's wonderful. Bless the Lord. I tell you, it's like old time, brother Marvin. Yeah. Oh, praise <laughs> God. Good Thank to see you, Lord brother down. Marshall. Oh, yes, oh, it is. He's going to preach here in a minute, brother amen, Marshall. Amen. We got one more, and we're going to send it right back. All Thank y'all. All righty. Thank you. God bless you. We're so glad to uh, be here, and we want to do this one other song. Thank and, you all uh, for I watching want to tonight. Do, uh, I want Vernell to do if if I can get over there to it. I'm I'm uh, just there uh, jumping around here. I want her to do. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Thank you for watching us tonight. Until next month, the third Wednesday night in the month, we'll be right back here on Jack Ivy Live here in Red Bay, Alabama. God bless you till then. <laughs>
Thank you all. God bless you.